I think I'll try out Hunter, or I mean, not Hunter, Paladin. This was my second choice. I don't think I'm going to be uh, running Face Hunter and Ladder. It's just, it that was so painful. Oh my gosh, to just keep flipping coins. You get you get a weighted coin, but it's like, is it really worth it? And that's how I feel about Face Hunter, pretty much. All right, we'll go with that. I will fight with honor. Elder Peacekeeper, probably not worth keeping. Well, Zombie Chow be important in the Dragon Paladin deck. It depends based on how fast the meta is. If the meta is fast, Zombie Chow is great. If the meta is slow, Zombie Chow is terrible. I've put two Zombie Chow in this deck currently because... I expect the meta to be at least somewhat threatening. Have I ever considered doing challenge decks or arenas? Challenge arenas have been done in the past, you can watch them on YouTube. But as my priority is getting top 20 legend this season, and I've also done challenge decks like free to play runs, but as the priority this season is to get the top 20. We don't do as many things for the funsies and the lulls. Would I say Ragnaros is a good replacement for Tyrion? Nothing is a good replacement for Tyrion, but as far as acceptability, that one's okay. Do I think Captain Greenskin would be better than the Black Knight? Yeah, some metas it would be. In this meta, there's some druids at the moment, some handlocks, some control. I feel like Black Knight hits enough targets. What would I suggest a newish player do because... You don't have all the cards to make a decent deck, what's the advice? Well, I mean, just start building towards a deck that you like. Cheap decks, which are good, include Face Hunter and Zoo. Why do you keep Shredder? Well, it's a warrior. It's a really card, good card against warrior. Let the pain speak what do I think of the new Palon deck? Inconsistent. I'm assuming Palon means gang up. Or it could be the drinking one. They're both interesting, isn't you? Huh? There's a grim patron. That's an inner rage. Here we go. I gotta say, that looks pretty impressive. And yet, I actually have the good answer this time around. Which is nice. I remember the last time I played against this deck, I didn't have the True Silver Champion. That was such a pain. Like, that's, that's the dream of the Grim Patron deck. You turn 5 Grim Patron, you have a Death Spite available, you have the Inner Rage. But it's like, at what cost? Is this deck so much worse now? We'll see. Well met. Reporting for two arms, men, for justice. Greetings. The battle. Do I believe there's a problem with newer players getting trumped by experts during the season start? Yeah, I think the rank should start off higher in the beginning. Is there a specific reason why I played the left sledge instead of the one I was holding? Yeah, I mean, there are minor benefits to doing that. No you play the cards to the left of your hand. Mostly if you, uh... There's some slight informational advantage slash disadvantage from doing so. Normally it doesn't matter at all. Back to work! Should you disenchant Godzilla for Dr. Boom or Akmejantinitis? 
I mean, it depends. Do you want a card which is not really seen anywhere in Godzilla? But maybe it's your favorite pet card. It's it's literally never played in any hunter deck right now, and hasn't been for a while, and I don't expect it to. And do you want to get the 400 dust out of a card you'll never play, or like a card that you'll often play, or do you want to keep it around? I, I can't give you that answer. It's up to you. But I mean, neither answer is right or wrong. That's the type of question I can't answer. Like, really, the choice isn't obvious. It depends on how much of a hoarder you are, and etc, etc. I can probably BGH that. I should owl this, actually. Do I think Frothing Berserker should get nerfed? I don't think so. Do I think Azure Drake or Blood Mage Thanos could fit this deck? Azure Drake, possibly. Blood Mage Thanos, probably not. There's literally one spell that deals damage in this thing. Seems like a bad choice. Is Lothab still good? Depends on the decks you play against. I have... I think it's a valid choice to put in almost any deck, but I've chosen not to put it in this deck because I think they're better. Do I think if I change Black Knight for Harrison, it would still be great in the meta? Well, I mean, you put in Harrison instead of Black Knight, and if you think there are more targets in the meta that Harrison gets instead of Black Knight, I think that right now Black Knight gets more targets than Harrison, so I've decided to put in Black Knight instead of Harrison. Pretty straightforward stuff. The battle. What do I think is the best class to use for climbing the ladder right now? Ultimately, you play any uh, deck which is reasonable enough what you're good at and you'll climb the ladder. What deck I think is the best constantly varies. One hour ago I thought it was Face Hunter. Uh, and now, right now, I think this deck is best. Will I do Warrior Grim Patron? I'll do it if I think it's good. For the meta. I'm currently doubtful. I should have free rolled the knife. I was also a little bit afraid, I guess, of AoE. Though there's no reason to be afraid. There's no real reason, but his deck is a little bit unusual. So, I'm a little bit cautious, I guess. I mean, that deck, this deck that I was up against certainly came out to an explosive start, but I had the answer. And now, this deck just looks really bad. Like, I could just make one ones each turn, and I think he loses. What makes a deck good in a meta? A high win rate? Yes. Exactly. If Blizzard added new classes to Hearthstone, do you think it would change the meta in any way? Yes. If the class was good, then of course it changes the meta. How do I feel about Shaman in the current meta? Why aren't you playing Shaman too weak? Yeah, Shaman's one of the very unpopular classes right now. Uh, common thought is that it is a bit weak, yes. Well, oh, we're gonna see a lot of uh, Grim Patrons here. This is gonna be fun. Would I have lost this match as a face hunter? Probably. Uh, that deck probably has a pretty strong matchup against face hunter. I think it has a pretty bad matchup against Z though. Do 
Though I think that have a dragon in hand going second will be better than first. Maybe even wildly. Hard to say. Do I miss the good old days when you were able to hit legend with a pure value deck? You mean like this one? No, I don't miss it. Because it still happens. That was quite a turn. Are you done yet? For justice. Okay, we're done. Reporting for duty. I can take the hit. For justice, the battle! Put your faith in the fight! Reporting for duty. I'm playing handlock, but I'm stuck in lower ranks. What do I do? Well, you have two choices. One, get better at handlock, or two, switch decks. What do I think about that combo? Seems to wreck token classes heavily. Yeah, I mean, it's their strong point. The main problem is that they need to get, like, all those pieces together in a deck which looks like it didn't draw very many cards, although I expect Acolyte of Pain to be in here. Don't test me! What classes do I feel the most humdrum slash one trick ponies? Any ideas to make them more interesting? So, I was going to answer Hunter before. Uh, but actually, Hunter has three different viable decks. And you may be wondering ah, what's the third one? Other than the face hunter and the mid range hunter. Turns out there's a control hunter which is doing pretty well right now. Hey, what do you know? There's a lot of variety. None shall in this expansion, uh, and in the last one, Blizzard has been introducing cards which make one-trick classes kind of uh, want to do other things. Like Warrior, for example. You only saw Control Warrior, but look at this. That was pretty interesting of a deck. It was. Uh, didn't get anywhere this time, but... Let against other classes, see. it would perhaps look ingenious, and I've lost that before too. Follow the rule. For justice. Look, I've been underplaying my hand a lot, and I'm not even the really battle. sure why. The battle. Um, the battle. Possibly part of it is I'm more focused on answering questions. Part of it is because I'm playing around some phantom AoE. Which doesn't exist, just due to unfamiliarity, unfamiliarity with the deck. Oh right, Battle Rage. It probably runs two of those instead of Acolyte of Pain. I would guess. Season two of Valley Town ever gonna be a thing? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really good at hosting a talk show. As you can tell from my answers, I like to keep it brief and practical. I like the babble air filler. Tox. Shaman seems rather static as a class. Well, I mean, you have control shaman, mid range shaman, you have mech shaman. You have Malagos, Kalmo, Wombo, Ancestral Skull, Shaman. What do I think of Kodo as a tech card? Yeah, it's reasonable. Honor. For a time I had Kodo in this deck. Uh, usually you want to do it when the meta gets really slow, or slowish. 
Having so many silver hand recruits is sort of just a survival weapon. It's an interesting thought, but you already have so many weapons in this deck. Is someone injured? Between the four charges of muster, a piece, and the true silver, and the Tyrion. And it's also a bit slow. In quite a few matches, if you play, if you pass your turn three and just play a 1 5 weapon, you're going to lose the game. I mean, you can compare Sword of Justice's strength immediately with immediate strength with a card like Muster for Battle, for example. You get the same weapon value, but you also get three 1 1s. That's a big deal. So, if anything, Muster for Battle cause Sword of Justice to be worse just because there's a better card. I mean, the two kind of work together, and they do, because you can play the sword and then you play the muster, mm. but things are just too fast to do that. Why am I never going to Hearthstone tournaments? Well, I mean, this last week I participated in the most Hearthstone tournaments I've ever done, so you're just not watching correctly, I guess. I still don't do much travel, because travel is a pain. Last warning! The light oh. shall burn! Reporting for duty. I've been struggling to make a good Control Paladin deck lately, providing you tips. Well, take this deck as a base, make it more controlly. Or you could also ask yourself, why are you making a Control Paladin deck instead of playing this one? That's a valid question. And then uh, there's always all those sites out there which aggregate the decks that people have played. You might find a good Control Paladin there. What's the funniest yet viable deck in my opinion? I find those Grim Patron decks pretty funny and potentially viable. Oh. That's quite a turn. The gang up mill decks are pretty fun and viable. Possibly. Do I think it's logical when a hero dies, his weapon should die too? No. For example, spoilers. I'm gonna let you uh, mute the stream for a moment for the spoilers. In World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor, Gromish dies and Gorhal doesn't die. Not quite what was planned. Wow, that's pretty cool. You could play anti killbot and then be able to kill one of the Northshire clerks. Best play is probably Dr. Boom, but it's just unfortunate that he'll draw cards. It's a tough play. Resurrect. Cool uh, usage of the new cards. Unfortunate result, perhaps. On the bright side, that's a light bomb down. Reporting for duty. Two arms, men. For justice. Not quite what was planned. Did I mean to say Garish or Gromish? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Truth be told. One of those two died. I think that's a serious mistake from Blizzard, having those two names be so similar. I will say that much. Mistake! Do I want to play into Super Light Bomb Combo Wombo Sadness? I think that's fine. I'll do it. Reporting for duty. I can't keep my Garishes and Gromishes straight. I don't even know. Not quite. The battle! The battle! The battle! Duty calls for justice! 
Do I think Rez is better used as an early tempo card or saved for a shot at a late game minion? It depends. What do I think of the new adventures so far? That's great. Keep Aldor. Do I want to keep Al? Yes, on Al, surprisingly. Eh, then I can just transition into Peacekeeper. That's fine. <laughs> Do I want to keep constant? Eh, nah. Oh, that's the dream. That is the dream. Oh, super dream. Do you muster it on turn three if no other play against a druid rug? Yes. Yes, comma, unless you already have another target out. And then it's the decision. Wolf or guy? If I make Guy, I can go Noif Guy next turn. It's slow against the Hunter, but he skipped turn 2 against me, so he's even slower. Similar to how Warlock became much better in the arena with the release of Void Color, which class do I think will gain the most with all the Black Rock Mountain cards out? Wow, this is a little scary against dogs. That's really slow from this side. I'm surprised that I played it so slow. But it just seems so likely he has a doggy. To answer the arena question, I, I don't think there are any obvious circumstances like that going on. I really want to trade down. I'm so scared of the doggy doggies. Maybe unrightfully scared. I wonder if he's a control hunter. None. Or if it's just a mid range hunter, which was slow. So I think there will be many people trying to use the latest Black Rock Mountain Legendary, uh, Major Domer Executus. I've seen a lot of, uh, kind of funny posts on Reddit about how Major Domo would be so much better if he was summoned on the opponent's side. That says something. Seems to be a card that a lot of people are having trouble using right now. Is my statement on that card. Not unexpected. 4, 7, 10, 11, 13. Let's get physical! Put the chapel on your head! Reporting for duty. Coin the sledge. That is a curve. Alright. Do I play Paladin in D&D? &D? Funny that you should ask that. In the uh, new campaign that I'm about to join in. I used to be the dungeon master, but uh, I total party killed my group. So now someone else is the dungeon master. Uh, I'm rolling a paladin. 
Am I aware of the Akanai spell damage interaction that Ignite fell victim to? I am. I saw it on Reddit. As I do a lot of things. Ready. It's pretty funny. Reporting for duty. Whoa. Freeze mage? Fatigue mage? Well, either way, we gotta play the cards now. So I think Paladin will be the most suitable class for a dragon deck. Is Control Paladin now at its peak as a strong class comparing its strength with the past 3 or 4 months? Well, first of all, Control Paladin, I qualify this deck as mid-range Paladin, you can call it Control Paladin if you want, I tend to take a bit more of a control stance on it myself. Um, is it at its peak? Who knows? I will say this, like, even though I like the deck, I haven't brought it to too many tournaments because I don't think it's very strong against the field. So, I mean, it's a very complicated answer, suffice it to say. There was a lot of Paladin at Seed Story Cup, why was the case? Well, people had to bring four decks, so, like, maybe Paladin was their fourth choice quite a few times. It's possible. Or maybe they just thought a lot of people would be forced to bring Mech Mage and Face Hunter, and therefore Paladin's pretty good, and Druid. Yeah, I mean, I would probably bring Paladin to a four-deck format in current times. I've rolled Paladin in D&D. &D. I hope you are a shining beacon of morality for the team. It can be frustrating if not so good mind players. Oh, no. I'm going to be playing the Paladin more of a neutral style. I'm not a good Nick Paladin. That sucks for me. Let me think. for justice. What edition of D and D do I play? Uh, fifth. I don't know if this is freeze mage or fatigue mage yet. I really hope that's not Mirror Entity. It can't possibly be. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Felt a brief moment of fear. I got it. Um, okay. Wasn't actually expecting a duplicate. But if it's Fatigue Mage, that makes a lot of sense. Fatigue Mage running Fireball would be a little strange, too. Maybe it's... Okay, that kind of makes sense. Wow, look at all the guys I can hit. Do I just do that? That's probably too greedy. Too greedy for me. One set will be good enough. Reporting for duty. Reporting I should have considered duty. playing Knife Juggler with that. Two arms, man, for justice. Just because it deals 5 damage to the face. That's a lot of damage. My mistake. I was uh, wanting to keep the... I also just didn't even think, realize I had the mana to do such a insane thing. Like, would I rather him be a 10 and then not have my knife juggler right now? Hard to say. A little bit hard to say. It's not obvious. I wonder if he's gonna have, um... Molten Giants. Mm, oh, that would have been a reason not to. Move quickly. I think it's okay to do this as long as it doesn't put him at like 10. Thirteen. Thirteen's okay. Is twelve okay? I don't want him at twelve, I think. Thirteen's good enough. Justice. 
Seems we'll be in this for the long haul. Now the question is, how does Fatigue Mage actually work? Death does not oh, right, that's how you get the extra cards out. I had almost forgotten. I had forgotten. Oh, and there's probably an Alex in there. Yes, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. For justice. Reporting for duty. Duplicate question mark? Possibly. Do I want him to duplicate his Deathlorn? I think I might be able to kill him in time. I'd be okay with this. It's obviously a little bit dangerous. That's a good one to get. There are quite a few ones that would be bad to get, like Quartermaster or Black Knight. Actually, eh, and NT Killbot. But there are quite a few good ones, like Tyrion, or Sylvanas, or Paladin Shredder. It might be almost 50-50 at this point. Definitely approaching my uh, fatigue points soonish. I went second, didn't I? It's actually a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. None shall pass. Fantastic. Follow the rule. For justice. Not so great. Okay. How is he going to clear this board? Nice. A lot of five health guys. Uh, the big guy himself. No guy since I want to leave a guy for... Leave a spot for Owl. Definitely living the fatigue dream. Looks like it could definitely happen. There's been two duplicates. So ice block? Ice barrier? Probably ice barrier. Yeah, that's where my money's at. Ooh, I gotta be careful about playing Sylvanas. No, he probably doesn't run Fireball. Because there's always the Doomsayer Fireball play. It's scary. To some extent, scary. It's ice block? Question mark? He doesn't run Mad Scientist in this deck, does he? Maybe. Probably not. So I guess that might be the one ice block. Maybe. I have no time for games. Hmm. I don't think I've ever lost a Fatigue Mage with this deck before, but this looks like it's approaching the first time I will lose to Fatigue Mage. I'm almost out of cards. Could be the urn. Or I lose to it. <sighs> Follow the rule. Let none survive. It's hard for a mage to continue dealing with your threats over and over again, but it looks like this guy may have it. Two blizzards down. I only saw one doomsday. Two explosive sheep down. And I saw one flame strike. So we need to bait out one of the flame strikes if he has another. Engaging TC one. Oh my god. Okay. I'm out of cards. I wonder if he has two of this. Probably not, right? Probably not. Let's 
The lay on the hands having been on the bottom isn't actually that bad because uh, lay on the hands at any point in this game may have been a mistake to do. I think I take the two eight. Let me you should think. be out of total freezes. Let none survive. The battle. Reporting for duty. This might be close, or it might be not close at all. Echo of Medea. Does that mean he was running the Molten Giants? I can expect another Sludge Belcher, obviously. I think I play this now. Eh, but what if he plays Alex? What am I gonna do to deal with Sludge Belcher? I'll play it next turn. I'm almost out of cards. One, I didn't know whether or not he ran to Flame Strike. Two, I didn't know. Um... Nah. I figured that even if he had the Flame Strike, I didn't have enough DPS to kill him. And I think that's true. I've got the beast in my side. Reporting for duty. I bring light. No, he did have the Alex. He's holding on to that for so long. I didn't even think he had it in his deck. He didn't actually even need to play Alex to win there. So, let's see, last cards. Doomsayer... And I'm not sure what the other two cards are. I wonder if there were Molten Giant, Molten Giant, Doomsayer. 